Well, my name is TJ LaRosa. I'm a chef owner of Full Belly's Restaurant here inside Kelly Square. We're on the mezzanine level in downtown historic Sherman, Texas. When we first reopened, Things were great. We were only open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, we're still currently only open Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, but things have definitely, uh, you know, taken a turn. Um, I don't want to say for the worse, but I, I definitely, it's, it's not as good as it was when we first originally opened after the, after the pandemic started. Local business is just basically keeping us afloat. Um, you know, without that, it's, uh, I don't know, you know, it's, it's, a, it's without a doubt the, most challenging thing Heather and myself have experienced um, through, God, you're looking at almost 35 plus years in the restaurant business. So after getting all of our debt basically erased, um, come March, the latter half of February and March, we shut down um, as per request by the Governor Abbott. Um, you know, uh, it, it affected us. It, it affects, it, it's affecting everybody. Um, so we uh, shut down for a few months, um, and now that we've reopened, it's been a challenge because we have only have limited hours that we're open. Uh, with current 50% capacity, the benefit that we have is we have a very large space, so we can fill up these larger areas um, with 50% capacity and still be almost at 100% capacity, if that makes sense. Um, we have private rooms, uh, we're able to accommodate people. When they first started asking us to donate um, something, a uh, gift certificate of some sort, and I think we went a step further and we, at first we were donating a, um, a table for 10, there's a private chef table for 10, and then I personally make them a dinner, a uh, five course dinner. And in years past, it's been one of the top bidding items. And so that's been, uh, that's, that's been awesome. You know, uh, when they first came to us and they were talking about doing this uh, online auction and, and, and really kind of basically focusing their support and their, um, their fundraising around the local community, it was just breathtaking. And they were, they were going to focus a lot on restaurants um, and uh, trying to help out as much as they possibly can. And, uh, you know, you just... You, 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 you kind of just bow your head and say, wow, that's, that's awesome. Um, you know, as a community, close, close group community, um, you, you kind of hope that people come together and that's exactly what's happened. And especially with the Starfish benefit, you know, um, and focusing on restaurants and focusing on local businesses, just, it's a big plus, it really is. Very cool. So would you say it's an honor to be a 50-50 spotlight this year? Um, uh, to be a 50-50 <laughs> spotlight? Absolutely it is. Um, you know, at any time when you get um, a local charity coming to you and asking you to do something of this caliber, it's always a pleasure. It just it, it fills your heart with joy and love. We just celebrated our eight-year anniversary in March. Um, it's been an absolute treat to uh, open up a restaurant. It's been a challenge in itself, but uh, with, with the local business uh, falling in love with Heather and myself, um, it's, it's been spectacular. <laughs>